Straight line winds toppled more than 30 utility poles. His live power lines, they fell on 34 cars, trapping nearly four dozen people. And those trapped included kids. Fox Weather's Katie Byrne joins us now from Westminster, which is just on the outskirts of Baltimore. Katie, what a terrifying sight that played out, especially as these dangerous storms roared through yesterday. Yeah, you know what, Stephen, the this, this scene really speaks for itself. When you look at what people were dealing with last night, uh, this was a scary moment for so many people. And we're getting some more information on what happened for a lot of people who were stuck here. The Maryland Governor Westmore just gave an update in the last, <coughs> excuse me, 15 minutes or so talking about um, the fact that we had 33 adults and 14 children stuck in at least 30 cars on this stretch of the road where you could see what happened was they felt trapped because they were surrounded by live wires from what really ended up being a domino effect of one uh, electric pole coming down and then the rest coming down as well. But officials say everyone stayed in their car and waited for advice and uh, just direction from law enforcement and first responders who were able to get them out of their cars safely. People were trapped for a few hours and then brought to a nearby school where they were able to uh, just kind of gather themselves and ended up most of them sleeping in their own beds last night. But of course, now a lot of people have questions about when they're going to be reunited with their cars. Many of them have already been towed away from the road. Um, and officials said they have keys to all those cars and they're working to reunite them with all of the owners. But I think people are just happy at this point that no one was seriously injured when uh, this was such a terrifying scene. Listen to words from the Maryland governor recently. Last night, lives were saved. There were people who were stuck and stranded in cars who were able to sleep in their own beds last night. And that's because of the work of everybody who moved and our first responders who made it so. Now, a big focus for today is going to be the power restoration, and that's what a lot of people have questions about. Uh, we're in the dark for the most part on this stretch of the road. A lot of the gas stations, nearby businesses, um, there's no lights. There's uh, nothing working right now as far as power goes and still tens of thousands without power across the state of Maryland. Of course, many of those people and businesses are in this county where we are, Carroll County. So hopefully officials will have some more information. But for now, they, they think this stretch of the road will at least be shut down for quite some time. No end date in sight, but we'll keep you posted with what we learn, Stephen. Katie, it's incredible to see those images and miraculously that that no one was killed as a, as a result. I mean, you have a, a heavily traffic stretch of road there and all of those power lines. And also we'll be interested to know just how strong winds perhaps those were in Westminster. But again, the, the miracle here, no one no one lost their lives. Katie Byrne in Westminster, Maryland this morning. Appreciate it. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.